Hi students in Letterland today we are going over our vocabulary words. Here's a list if you need them. Manage, negative, positive, weightless, advantage, and the challenge words are motive, immense. Manage. Manage may remind you of someone managing a business. You can also manage your homework, managing getting ready for school, manage your behavior. Manage means you're, you are in charge of making sure. Manage. So this is a picture of someone who is going to manage their time. They get organized, have a calendar, planner, set alarms, computer. Manage. Negative and positive. If something is positive, it is good or helpful. Negative is the opposite, bad or unhelpful. We can use math symbols for positive plus and negative minus. Make these symbols with your hands to show whether these things are negative or positive. Or you can do a thumbs up for positive and thumbs down for negative. So is broccoli negative or positive for you? Thumbs up or down? Good, a lot of thumbs up. What about homework? Okay. So this might have mixed ups, positives and negatives. It's good to practice your work. Some of you might not like it. Bedtime. Snow. You like snow or you don't like snow? I do. Thumbs up. Rain, thumbs up or down. Alarm clocks, sunshine, dancing, sharks, snakes, dogs, cats, mice, doctor visits, These are good for you, right? So thumbs up and dentist visits, thumbs up. But if you, you might put a thumbs down if you don't like it, but they are positive for you. Negative and positive. Weightless, this word means without weight. If you were an astronaut in space, you would float around because there is not much gravity in space. You feel weightless when you're in water because you float. Weightless. Advantage. An advantage is something that helps you accomplish what you want to do. You might have an advantage over someone in a game because of your skill. What advantages does healthy eating give you? What advantages can learning things give you? So these are some things that help when you eat healthy. You enhances your immune system. You have an advantage because you have higher energy levels. Increases your mood, your <clears throat> encourages a long life, helps your productivity, helps you regulate your weight, and improves your heart. Here's the passage for today. Are you planning a trip to Mars? So you're going to um, fill in the blank with the vocabulary word and underline the word on the spelling list. Our science group had to imagine what it would be like to be the first people to travel to Mars, just the four of us. It would take at least 16 months in a small spaceship to get there and back. Our job was to find out what the problems might be, then we had to think of how to solve them. One book said that since that there is almost no gravity in space, we should be blank. We would be able to float around the spaceship. We were all sure that would be a blank thing, not a problem. Then we read a different passage in the book. It said that having no gravity could be a blank thing too. Human bodies have problems being weightless for that long. One way to improve the effect on humans is to make gravity by spinning the spaceship, making you know what that's like. If you ever held someone's hand and spun around, you have felt how it pulls you outward. We hope there would be at least one passage, passage in the ship where we could float. 
There would be lots of time to play games and have fun together. We thought that was a big blank. But scientists think the opposite may be true. It is difficult for people to blank their feelings in a cramped spaceship. It's difficult to get along when they see the same few people every day. Imagine three kids on the back seat on a long car trip that lasts 500 days. We said we would make a promise to each other to stay friendly. We would also let anyone have private time if they wanted to be alone. They might be right there with us, but we would ignore them and pretend they weren't there for maybe 90 minutes. We learned a trip to Mars would be harder than we thought. Maybe we will wait until we are older, like 12. In this next passage, look for the bold words. Our teacher told us it was hard to imagine the immense distance we would have to travel to reach Mars. When Mars is closest to Earth, it is still 335 million miles away. When it is on the other side of the sun, it is 250 million miles from us. What makes people want to take such a challenge? What is their motive for wanting to try to go to Mars? Would you want to go? So the bold words in the passage, immense and motive. If you do not know what those words mean, you're going to use your context clues to find it. So our teacher told us it was hard to Im imagine the immense distance we would have to travel to Mars. And Mars, I think it would mean something like maybe being hard to do, a really far away. What, think about it, what do you think immense would mean? Okay, so you see that um, you, when you travel, when Mars is close to Earth, it's still 35 million miles away. So maybe extreme, like far, like a big, it could be a big distance, like an extreme distance, hard to do. Okay, so immense. It's hard, it's definitely hard to imagine something that's so far away. And then, so we figured out the immense is like large or great, far, big, extreme. Let's see what motive is. Motive, what makes people want to take on such a challenge? What is their motive? Um, you can kind of fill in the blank there. What is their reason for wanting to try to do it? Like, why? What is driving them? What makes it? When, some, when there's a challenge, okay, why does this person want to do the challenge? What is their reason? Their motivation to do it. So that is motive. All right, please. Um, Underline the, on Shobi, I um, underline the spelling words and put in these vocabulary words and submit it to your teacher. Hope you have a wonderful day, students.